Hello, this is Aloisa with Math Leopard. Today, we are going to find the parametric equations for a cardioid with cusp, located at a, zero, where a is the radius of the circles used in its creation. First, consider a circle of fixed radius a centered at the origin. Let's take a second circle of radius a and place it adjacent to the first along the positive x-axis. Where the two circles touch at a comma zero, we will affix a point in blue to the second circle. To create a cardioid, we slowly rotate the second circle about the first and let our point in blue trace out the indicated curve. Once our second circle has come back to its starting position, the cardioid is complete. In order to find the x and y coordinate of a point on the cardioid, let's consider a point near the beginning of the traversal indicated in red, at an angle theta with the positive x-axis. Given two circles of radius a are adjacent to one another, we note that the center of the exterior circle is at a distance 2a from the origin. Hence, the polar coordinates for x and y at that point are given as 2a cosine theta and 2a sine theta, respectively. Our goal now is to find the coordinates of the point on the cardioid, indicated in red, with respect to the angle theta. To that end, let's consider the triangle which measures from the origin to the center of the exterior circle and then back to the x-axis through the point on the cardioid. We note that two of the interior angles on this triangle are theta, hence it is isosceles. If we drop a perpendicular to the x-axis from the center of the exterior circle, it creates an angle phi with the exterior edge of our triangle. Let's zoom in to get a closer look. Returning to our isosceles triangle, let's call the remaining angle psi. We know that in a plane, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is pi radians. Hence, psi plus theta plus theta is pi. That is, psi plus 2 theta is pi. We also know that supplementary angles sum to pi. Hence, the supplement to psi is also 2 theta. However, 2 theta is the remaining angle in the triangle with phi along the perpendicular. Hence, phi plus 2 theta is pi over 2. Or more precisely, phi is equal to pi over 2 minus 2 theta. Now that we have a value for phi in terms of theta, let's zoom back out to continue our analysis. As noted before, if we project perpendiculars to both axes from the center of the exterior circle, the x and y coordinates were at 2a cosine theta comma 2a sine theta. But our goal is to find the x and y coordinates of the point on the cardioid. So let's consider the perpendiculars to both axes from that point. Using triangle trigonometry, we note that the x-coordinate of our point is a sine phi less than the x-coordinate of the exterior circle's center at 2a cosine theta. But we found that phi was equivalent to pi over 2 minus 2 theta. Hence, using the formula for sine of a difference, we conclude that sine of pi over 2 minus 2 theta expands to sine of pi over 2 cosine of 2 theta minus cosine of pi over 2 sine of 2 theta. Since sine of pi over 2 is 1 and cosine of pi over 2 is 0, the identity simplifies to cosine of 2 theta. Hence the x-coordinate for any point on the cardioid is given in terms of the parameter theta as 2a cosine theta minus a cosine 2 theta. Now let's do the same evaluation for the y-coordinate. We similarly subtract the vertical distance from the center of the exterior circle to the point on the cardioid. Hence the y-coordinate will be at 2a sine theta minus a cosine phi. Once again, noting that phi is equivalent to pi over 2 minus 2 theta, we expand the term with cosine as cosine pi over 2 cosine 2 theta plus sine of pi over 2, sine 2 theta. Once again, sine of pi over 2 goes to 1, as cosine of pi over 2 goes to 0. 
hence the y-coordinate of our cardioid solely in terms of the parameter theta reduces to 2a sine theta minus a sine of 2 theta. So given a cardioid with cusp at a comma 0, any point along its curve at an angle theta with respect to the positive x-axis has x and y coordinates of the form 2a cosine theta minus a cosine 2 theta, comma, 2a sine theta minus a sine of 2 theta, respectively. Thanks for playing, and I'll see you next time.